the 39th and final race of week one is the biggest field of the week. Well, a really tight course. Well, this could be quite interesting. It's the Iroquois or Iroquois chase. Three miles and two furlongs. Great one. So it's almost like an American version of the Gold Cup, but running around a speedway track. And called Jonathan is at the top for Alex Cherry. He's also got classic chance. Clubber Dinge for... Padraig Hogan, Devilla Lake, Darren Thompson, Long Term Project, Graham Clutterbuck, One Trap Mind, Leon Van Rensburg, Royal Wedding, Matt Cooper, Saltzello Menor, Darren Thompson, Stone Cold Steve Austin for Matt Cooper, The Teacher, Joshua Sutherland, The Thinker, Martin Liddell, Tower Amulets, Graham Clutterbuck, Dragons Cry, Leon Van Rensburg, Flowers for Fishy for Padraig Hogan, Mallorca Dream, David Hooley, Nightclubber and Nightly Contract, Craig Beck with Pop World, David Hooley, Rebecca Sledmere for David Robertson, The Shepherd, Joshua Sutherland and Velvet Curtain for Martin Liddell. So quite a few returning from last season and away we go, biggest field by a long way so far this season. We're going to get too many huge fields this year. It's nice to see a good big field. Well, this one could be interesting with it being such a tight track. They're all safely over the first. And Velvet Curtain is the early leader. It's over the second as well. There's a four of it. This long-term project's gone. So long-term project turned out to be a bit of a short-term project this week. Hopefully we'll do a little better next week. And it's Rapunzel in the lead. Rapunzel who won a three-mile grade one hurdle last season. By making all and never being caught, so attempting that again, but over the bigger obstacles this time. As they get over the third and has failed to do so already because it's been overtaken by Dragon's Cry. So Dragon's Cry in the lead then. Velvet Curtain is back in second. And a gap of four lengths or so to the Joshua Sutherland pair, the Teacher and the Shepherd. And then the Thinker is after that one, the Thinker back after a season's break. The idiot trainer forgot to save him when he was eight or whatever he was, he's back as nine now I think. Anyway, they're all over the next. We need the Royal Wedding, just the back market. But it's Dragon's Cry. Before anybody has a go at me for referring to somebody as an idiot trainer, I can do that because the idiot trainer in question is me. Uh, it's Dragon's Cry in the lead. Velvet Curtain second. Then the Shepherd and the Teacher. And we've called Jonathan after that one, then Nightclubber. Nightly contract close up as well. They get over the sixth of the 24. And they're well strung out. Very short run to the next one, which is a ditch velvet curtain. Showing it a lot of respect. Looking towards the back. Mallorca Dream. Classic chance and Royal Wedding. And just finding the pace a little bit hot as they race downhill towards the next. And Dragon's Cry over it in the lead. From Velvet Curtain second and the Shepherd and the Teacher third and fourth. And a little gap to call Jonathan as they come up past the stand and past the winning post. I believe they've got two more circuits to go. This track about eight and a half furlongs. No, all together, all round. And Dragons cry the leader. The Shepherd has just poked in the second. Velvet Curtain is third, and the teacher is fourth as they get into the next. As they all stream over nicely. All the way back to Royal Wood in the back market. Over number 10. And again, all over it well. Just lost the one so far. There been many fallers this week. And Dragon's Cry is in front. Velvet Curtain is second. The Teacher third. And the Shepherd fourth. Dark Clover is after that. And then Dark Contract called Jonathan. And Salt Salah Manor. I'm sure that one was around last year. Flowers for Fishy is next. And they're all safely over that one. Devil Lake, Rebecca Sledmere also in that little group in the middle. Into the 12th. Now there's a four at the back there, that's Stone Cold Steve Austin has gone. So, a barnic man, not quite so barnic today. He's out. Dragon's Cry is a good six or seven lengths clear at this point. On the Southern Pair, the Shepherd and the Teacher. On the wide outside, Knight Clubber has now moved through into fourth. Velvet Curtain on the inside, still there in fifth. Then Knightly Contract and Core Jonathan. Clubber Dinge is after that one as they take the 14th. Now Velvet Curtain got in really close to that one and gave it an almighty wallop. And so too did Stable make the thinker in the purple and white stripe colours towards the rear. The one that's getting a little bit detached is Royal Wedding. In fact, the two getting a little bit detached. Classic Chance is getting detached as well. Those two. 
I'm pretty much out of it. And then SO6 days will probably have been pulled up. If they get over the 16th. And Dragon's Cry continues to leave it only by about a length and a half now. As we will start to get down to the busy end of the race as soon as we pass the winning post. One more complete circuit to go. And now these jockeys will be down. They'll be counting in their heads how many times they've been round. And they'll know this is the final time. Well, hopefully they will anyway. And Dragon's Cry is in the lead by three quarters of a length. The teacher is in second. Gap of two lengths then to the shepherd on the inside of Nightclub between the two of them. Velvet Curtain trying to get back into it again as they get over the 17th. There's a faller there. It's up to the Manon's gone. So Darren Thompson continues to have trouble with his jumpers. And there's another one down now as Tower Hamlets has gone as well for... Is that David Hooley? Is that a second? No, it's a second Graham Clutterbuck horse. And Gra Graham's lost both of his in this one as the race starts to heat up then now. And it's Dragon's Cry in the lead from the teacher in second. Nightclub is third. Velvet Curtain is fourth. The one that's come really wide is Cord Jonathan. That's going so wide. You want to wonder whether there's something up with a tap there. Velvet Curtain has just made a mistake and that's her chance gone. But it's... Dragon's Cry in the lead as they take this turn again now and you can see how much ground the Alex Cherry horse is going to lose. Not any chance of winning really with being so wide as they get over that next one and it's still Dragon's Cry in the lead. Pop World has come through into second. This is the 21st. In third place is the Shepherd. Then Nightly Contract and Nightclub are still there. Also running on now is Club of Dinge as they come down towards the final couple of fences then now. They've got three furlongs to race and Pop World has hit the front. Pop World takes it up then. Coming down towards the next. Pop World's in the lead. Two lengths clear. Off in second place. Dragon's Cry. Then in third is Nightclub. A club of dinges there. The Shepherd is trying to get into it. So is Flowers for Fishy. That was a third last. They all got over it nicely. But it's Pop World who's clear over the final ditch. Slow jump by the leader. Here comes Dragon's Cry for a second attempt. Then comes Flowers for Fishy. Nightclub. A club of dinges still there. Devil's Lake is coming wide round the track as well. As they now swing into the straight and towards the final fence. And it's Dragon's Cry in the lead. Dragon's Cry from Nightclub. Club, a Dragon's Club gets over in the lead. Nightclub is over in second. Then comes the Shepherd trying to run on. They're racing towards home now. There's less than half a furlong to go. And it's Dragon's Cry in the lead from Nightclub who's trying to get there. But it's got to be Dragon's Cry that takes it. Nightclub is standing the teacher's third and the Shepherd. And then Devil's Lake and Pop World and Club of Dinge and Flowers for Fishy. And all the way back to the Thinker and the Velvet Curtain. And then even further back for a couple more of them. And a very... tight sort of track there I think that they were pretty tightly grouped into the final circuit but that final circuit sorted them out didn't it and some, of, some of them went really wide but Dragon's Cry takes it for Leon van Rensburg nightclub of a Greg Beckwith second the teacher Joshua Sutherland third the shepherd Joshua Sutherland fourth and Devil's Lake for Darren Thompson fifth that's week one in the book we'll be back next week with the start of the handicaps probably the start of the mil Moore's Millions and the starters orders um finals qualifiers as well so the season really starts to kick off in earnest next week